of fifth grade, I'm going to do the chapter nine review with you in your textbook on page 215. You're going to do the odd problems this time, the odd problems. So I'm going to do a few of the even problems with you on page 215. Okay, I'll start with number 28. Number 28 is dividing a whole number by a unit fraction. Number 28 is 20 divided by one third. Remember, multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor. So change this to a fraction. The reciprocal of one over three is three over one. That will equal 60. <coughs> then I'm gonna do number 32. Number 32 is dividing a whole number by a fraction. So four divided by two sevenths. Remember, multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor. So make this four over one, because we have to make that to a fraction, times seven halves. And then I can simplify. Two goes into two once, two goes into four twice, and I get 14 over one, which equals 14. Okay, and then I'm going to move on to number 30, 42, I mean. Number 42 is one-third divided by eight, okay? A unit fraction divided by a whole number. One-third divided by eight would be one-third times the reciprocal of the divisor, one-eighth, which equals one-twenty-fourth, okay? And then number um, 44, number 44 is seven-eighths divided by three a fraction divided by a whole number. So that would be 7 eighths times the reciprocal of the divisor, 1 third. And I would multiply and get 7 24ths. So you are going to do the odd problems. Now let's get down to the word problems. And I'm going to do number 52 with you. Number 52. Okay, we have some music notes here. We have whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, and 16th notes, okay? And 52 says five whole notes equals how many quarter notes? Well, a quarter note is one fourth. So think about that. If I have a quarter note, it takes four of them to make a whole note. One fourth, one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth. So we wanna know how many quarter notes are in five. So we take our whole number, five holes, divided by one fourth to see how many there are how many quarter notes are in five? And I solve that by doing five over one times the reciprocal of the divisor. So that would be 20 over one equals 20. So for number 52, there are 20 quarter notes in five whole notes. And now let's look at number 54. Number 54 says 10 half notes equals how many 16th notes? So 10 half notes equals blank sixteenth notes. Okay, well 10 half notes. Well 10 halves would equal five whole notes. Okay, because there are, there are 10 half notes in five holes. Okay, and then if I want to know how many sixteenth notes there are, now I've changed 10 half notes to five holes, so five divided by 1 16th. How many 1 16th notes are there? So I would solve that by doing five over one times 16 over one, the reciprocal of the divisor, and that equals 80. So there are 80 16th notes in 10 half notes. 80 16th notes. All right, so you need to go ahead and finish. Page 215, you are just doing the odd problems.